productive day. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is currently 2.30 in the afternoon. I just feel like I had this whole plan today on like how I was gonna be super productive, wake up early, go to the gym, film from like eight o'clock in the morning till right now. It has like flashed before my eyes and I'm just like, what did you do besides like drive everywhere and do errands? Nothing. Ah! So yeah, this vlog is not what I really thought it was gonna be, nor has the day gone to plan, basically. I went this morning to go get my nails done. I actually started an introduction to this video saying like, oh, I haven't got my nails done in like years, basically, like since pre-pandemic. Came back from that, but there was so much traffic and like not enough time in the morning to like vlog and go back and forth and like run all my errands and vlog for you guys. Plus like not to mention, it is a really crappy day outside. Like it's been gloomy and rainy and cold all day. So yeah, this video is not what I thought it was gonna be, but that is okay. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna film today. We're gonna turn this day around. So welcome to today's vlog of me still turning the day around even though we are halfway through the day. And honestly like, it's okay, we're gonna get through this. Just because I'm starting off my day in the middle of the day doesn't mean it is wasted and neither does that have to be for you guys. Okay, so step number one, when days like this happen where I feel like I'm really not starting my day until like midday because of all the errands or like little life things that I have to do, I like to start off by taking a shower. So I'm gonna go upstairs and take a shower. And honestly, I think I'm gonna take you guys with me. Not in the shower though, that would be weird. I did go this morning to pick up some ceramics, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna think that they came out really cool. Pina, your hair is my, okay. Pretty sure I have talked about this in a video before, but like whenever you feel like you're starting your day too late or you're just like unmotivated, jump in the shower. I promise you, you'll feel 10 times better. I have really been changing up my skincare routine recently and I just wanna show you guys like some of the products I've been using. One of my favorite vitamin serums right now is this one by Derma E. This brand has like literally changed the game for me when it comes to skincare. It's so underrated and so affordable. And yeah, I just have really been loving their products. In the morning, I use the vitamin E serum. This serum helps with collagen health, minimizing the look of fine lines and wrinkles while improving the appearance of uneven skin tone. So really does a really good job at brightening your skin. I've noticed a huge difference in just the last like two months of me using this. So I really, really love it. And then a couple of weeks ago, I picked up the Derma E Ultra Lift Concentrated Serum, which is this one right here. And this one I've mainly been using for like fine lines because it helps like tighten your skin. Like that's basically what this product does. So I've been mainly using it like right here. And then right here on my neck, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have like some lines. I've had them my whole life actually, but I never knew what they were. And it's not that they're getting like worse the older I get, but I just wanted something that could like help with that. So I'm hoping to see a little bit of a difference the more I use it. So yeah, I use the blue serum at night and then I've been using the vitamin C serum during the day. That way I can like use both and like let them do their thing separately. And then usually for moisturizing, I've been using two different kinds of lotions, moisturizers, or balms, technically. This is the one I kind of tend to reach for the most. Everybody knows what this is. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Occasionally, I'll put on the La Roche Posay B Balm. This is like such a good balm. It's called the, oh, the Balm B5. That's what it's called. Such a good balm. I'm actually gonna use this one today. This just like keeps your skin like super moisturized and it feels like very um, hydrating. So that is why I really like using this product. For now, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of the Grand Lash 
serum. I've been using this for like two or three months now and I've noticed a huge difference in my lashes. I'm gonna see if I can actually do this in the viewfinder. So I just do a swoop on each eye. And then yeah, that's pretty much it for skincare at the moment. And then for my hair, I'm just gonna use a little bit of the Soul Oil. This is probably one of my favorite hair products at the moment. If you can get your hands on some for the summertime, I would because this stuff is incredible and it smells so good. And then I'm just gonna use some Dove deodorant. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm just going to pin this back while I go get dressed. And like that, I'm dressed. I'm gonna be super bougie and change my claw to match my outfit. This is my crate of claws, by the way. I actually have a ton more than these, but they're just like scattered around my house. Maybe I'll do this one. Here she is. Isn't she a cutie? I love her. Okay, we're gonna put this one on our hair today. For those of you who have actually come to my channel or found my channel through my makeup videos. Hi. <laughs> I feel like I haven't done like makeup videos in a really long time. I fell out of love with makeup and I think I talked about this in a couple of vlogs ago where I just like was not into it. It kind of happened like at the beginning of the pandemic where I was like, oh, like I kind of love a little bit more of a natural look. And ever since then I've implemented just more natural looking makeup in my day-to-day -day, everyday life. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today is like all of my kind of everyday products. This is the e.l.f. Hydrated Camel Concealer. This has literally been like one of my favorite concealers recently and I just apply um, mainly under my eyes. And I'm just gonna use this super gross Juno & Co sponge. <laughs> I really love the hydrating camel concealer. I remember trying on camera last year the regular one, but then they came out with a hydrating one shortly after. And now I haven't used anything else since. And very quickly, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. And currently right now I've been using the Morphe one. I'm not really a big foundation person and those of you who have been watching me for quite some time would know that. To this day, I still love using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, the hydrating one. That one by far is my favorite. I'm not gonna use that today, but I have been loving the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. Literally applying this on my skin just makes me feel kind of more put together. I've put this on my skin every single day basically since getting it. I usually apply it like on my highlight points so there on my nose a little on my forehead and then a little on my chin and then I just blend it out next I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of blush this rare beauty this blush or just all of her blushes in general are so good oh my gosh they are like I understand the hype on them now so I'm gonna use the color hope this one has been my favorite put a few dots like right there, and then I blend. Lastly, I'm gonna go in with some um, Lash Paradise. This is still one of my favorites as well. I feel like I've been using this mascara for years now. Okay, now that I am feeling a lot more fresher, I think I can finally get some serious work done and I might do some of that with you guys in here. I just got an order in this morning and usually I drop off like shipment or orders on Mondays and Thursdays. Since this is the one that I got in today, I'm thinking of packing it up right now and getting it shipped out. I think it would be really cool for, you know, the customer to get an alert before like the weekend saying like, hey, your order's out. I think that's really cool. And I have some time right now, so I'm going to package that order and get it ready to ship out. And I'm gonna take it before they close today. also stopped at the grocery store to pick up just a few bits of things that I needed. Basically got some chicken, some tofu, a cucumber, a jicama, so I'm probably gonna be snacking on that later. 
two mangoes, some plantains. These are the sweet ones for those of you who might wonder. <laughs> some long grain white rice. And then I picked up two packets of these. These are basically like tomato soups. So it's like a tomato based pasta soup and it's really, really good. Yeah, for gloomy, gloomy days like today, Soups like these are just really, really comforting and really easy and quick to make. So I figured maybe I'll just make some of this with some rice and plantains for dinner today. It's actually the next day and I decided to refilm this part that you're about to watch because the lighting yesterday was just so bad and just in case I am editing this video later today and I realize I hate that footage I was like let me just film this again because if the lighting isn't good then it doesn't give my ceramics like justice because the color is so vibrant and I want to share that with you guys so I have my ceramics here and some good lighting and I'm going to share with you guys everything that I picked up from the kiln yesterday today and then just insert that footage in here and yeah yesterday just wasn't the best day to vlog if I'm being completely honest but I did it anyway so I did pick up some fired pieces and then some bisqueware. I went to go also drop off some pieces. This one unfortunately did not make it. I'm gonna see if I can salvage it or if I can just break it down and then reuse the clay. Uh, but yeah, this is the reality of having an at-home studio and then traveling to a kiln studio to fire your pieces. Sometimes they don't make it. The ones that were already look so good. This is one of my favorite ones. This style is called my beach house mug and I really, really love it. The inside looks just like sand. And then the outside print comes in pink, blue, and yellow. And it's literally one of my favorite mugs. And yeah, I just really, really love the way this one came out. I have on this one stamped that girl, but come in April, you can basically get this style print stamped with any wording you want. So yeah, that's like one of the mugs that I'm offering. Another custom mug color combo that I'm gonna be offering is this one right here. This one is called My Mint Garden and I really, really love it. It has like different colored flowers. So it has like this mint, the tan, and then the coral. And the style of flower petal is very different compared to my usual one. I don't know if I actually have one with like my usual like print on it. I'll like insert a photo right here of my typical like flower print. This one has more like a like separate flower petal print. And then as you can see on the side here, I have the little detail flowers. So yeah, I really, really love this one too. This is probably one of my favorite new combos that I'm making. I did make one, just like a mock-up one. I think I am gonna add this print eventually to the shop as like a summer style. But this one I just have stamped on here. It says summer days. And then I just have like this little like makeshift sun. And then a little very faintly done flower print. I wanted to keep this one as like minimal as possible. And I really like the clay because it has like this speckle look. Really one of my favorite mugs. This one is also a lot less glossy. It doesn't have like this super high gloss finish. It's, it's like gloss, but it's more matte. Um, so I really like it because it has really good texture. And then the last mug that I painted and like picked up is this one here. It's just like a wavy check and it says that girl. I was testing out this one. I'm trying to make some pieces that are a little bit more muted, not so like pink and vibrant compared to like these ones here. And yeah, I do notice that this sand color that I use does really well in my shop. So I'm playing around a little bit more with that one, but I really like this one. It's very like minimalistic, but like super aesthetic. So 
really, really happy with that one. And yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram because I'll be posting these mugs on my website and I'll be letting you guys know when they are available. So cute, look at them. I love them, they are seriously adorable. And then I did pick up some plates. I have a couple of each one that are gonna be available in the shop. And I think because I love them so much, I'll just continue replenishing them like as they sell out. But I have two different kinds of stamps and then four different colors to offer for each one. So this one just says sunshine. So cute and it comes in like the minty green. And then the other stamp that I have um, it says Pura Vida, which means pure life. And I really, really love that saying. I did make the Pura Vida plate in the pink stripe as well, which is so cute. I really, really love this pink. It's a very pretty pink. And then lastly, I have this striped one that says sunshine. Lastly, the glazed piece that I picked up is this little dish tray. I'm actually just trying these out. I've honestly been seeing these all over Instagram. And yeah, I just wanted to see how this would look. I had some like brown clay um, that I've been using. So I decided to use that on this dish and I really like it. And then I've just tested out this new glaze that I got. It's like this very like speckly glaze and I really, really like it. I think if I even painted this like all blue and then put this glaze on top, it would kind of look like the ocean, which would be so cool. So I think I'm gonna try that one next time. But I really like these dishes. They're so pretty and it's like a really good size. You can use it as like a serving dish for like food because it is microwave and food safe. Or if you wanted to use it like for your jewelry, your necklaces, your perfume, like there's so many different things you can do with this. Okay, I did pick up a few bisque items. Bisque means that they went through like their first firing and now they're ready to be glazed. So these are two mugs that I picked up. They don't have any wording on them. So they're just like nice and plain. I did pick up a few more of my oval dishes. I'll insert a photo here of one that is currently on my website. And yeah, I'm like really excited for these. They're like such a good size. You can use this dish, very similar to the way I described this dish. And then I just made a little like makeshift bowl. I wanna test out like this style of bowl and see if it would do good. And then inside, as you can see, I just have these like little mini flowers. I basically designed my logo flower and created it into a cutout. And then I'm playing around with these little flowers. And I want to see if I can make like earrings with them. So stay tuned for that. These are like just testers, but if they do really well, then I will have some ceramic earrings in my shop. And I'm really, really excited for that as well. But yeah, guys, that is all of the new things that are coming to the shop. It's super cute. And I'm really excited to get to painting these and then these. And then there's a few more of these that are still being fired, but these were like the first full batch of them. So. I'm very happy with the way they came out and I'm confident that when I pick up the other ones, they will look just like these.